Hello and welcome back to a little bit of mi mi start again, shall we? A bit of asset Corsa. And uh, today in this video we're gonna be looking at the multiplayer. Is it any good? Are there knobheads? Is it carnage? Does it work? Is it laggy? All the usual questions. And in this first video we're gonna be looking at the Lotus. And funnily enough in this um time trial section, I actually felt that was driving really, really slow. But here we go, this is my actual first multiplayer race online. Revving away there. Don't know how that guy got away so fast. Maybe he got a booster with a 3 2 1 or the old Mario Kart. So, so far, it seems clean. Nobody's bumped into each other. The cars are really, really weighty. Honestly, the cars feel really heavy. And it actually feels like when you're driving around on your own that you're driving really, really slowly. Oh, there we go. There's the first bump and shunt. I think I actually got hit by a guy who actually got hit by accident. I don't think that was intentional. Um, yeah, again, I, I can't explain to you how heavy these vehicles are. And I actually think that this race is running with um, complete lack of traction, 100% um, realism. It has to be because I've never felt anything like it. And um, while there's no actual physical damage, apart from windscreens, you can actually see that there's damage on the left, the, and I got shunted up the ass, and um, it's actually going to get worse. Actually bump into this guy, then I lose control, get shunted, and as you can see, looks like my um, left axles are absolutely fucked, um, and I couldn't actually drive, and I had to pull over, and that was the end of my race. But uh, yeah. I don't think there was intentional damage done there by anybody. It's certainly different from Drive Club anyway. Now this next race was at Spa, or I think it was Spa, or was it Mugello? Um, I don't think this is a Formula 1 car, I think this is one of the, lo the Lotuses. I, I could be wrong, I could be wrong. And I think there was 24 players on there, and down at the bottom you can see, what, holy crap, a lot of carnage going on here. Whereabouts I am in the range at the minute, I'm 13th. Oof, that was close. <laughs> Zooming through there. Um, again, that crash in front of me, I don't think was intentional. Um, I've noticed down here, if you just come off a little bit and then put the accelerator straight back on, you can get around here pretty much full speed. There is a little bit of lag, I've noticed, at that section, but that may be because I'm running everything on max. Um, 24, 24 cars, um, so it may be a little bit laggy. And I'm also obviously running, uh, I'm recording as well tried to bomb down here a little bit. This is uh, another one where I can't decide whether it's better to be in the car or out of the car. And I've noticed the braking zones on the floor, you can ignore these um, with these cars, especially the supercars. You can brake a lot later. Uh, they're actually a lot more grippy than some of the lower cars. There was a BMW I tried uh, in single player and it was like being on an ice skating rink. It felt like I was going around corners at 20 miles an hour. Um, but obviously not, it can be quite deceptive. But this is quite enjoyable to be honest with you. I'm, out of the few games I've actually played online now, I'm enjoying it, especially this Formula 1, I'm enjoying this more than Formula 1 in the Codemasters version, which just feels arcadey. This feels a lot more like a sim. I do wish it jolted you around a little bit more in the cockpit or there was a, a visor, um, just to add that extra little bit of realism. But so far, enjoying it. If it's if you're thinking of getting into a simulation game, um, obviously there is another one, Project Cars, coming out in next month. Both look very similar from the comparisons that I've seen. Um, get online. I'm playing with a 360 pad. I'm, I'm not the best driver, to be honest with you, but uh, thoroughly enjoying it. So get on, add me, uh, and let's go on and have some racing. Clean. See you on the track. I just had to put this clip at the end. I've got no idea which Ferrari this is, but the things are fucking beast brilliant to drive and as you can see i get taken out quite nicely this car is fucking fantastico and it sounds the absolute fucking wangers fucking brilliant